What's going on guys, AFCB TV here on the top 5 defenders for AFC Bournemouth this season. I've gathered statistics, which I'm going to tell you in a minute, to calculate who I think the top 5 defenders out of Steve Cook, Simon Francis, Charlie Daniels, Adam Smith and Tommy Elphick has been this season. So obviously, the, um, um, the stats um, I've calculated, I've done by defensive score, successful passes, tackles won, tackles lost, interceptions, errors leading to a goal, successful takeovers, defensive errors and interceptions. So, we go into the first, I'm just going to get par these two onto next to each other. Going into first place, into in fifth place for the defenders is obviously Tommy Elphick. Now this is, um, this is because he's been, he's been out for the majority of the season and through hasn't really got the points to beat other the other four defenders and that's why he is um overall i've cut through the point system from one to five well because the best stat got five points the worst stat got one point tommy elphick got a total of 18 points out of a possible 20 30 55 points 18 out of 55 he got unfortunately the majority of them were one pointers because he couldn't really couldn't beat the standard or stats of the other players. Um, so looking at his, his stats, Tommy Elphick, 11.86 for defensive score. Now this I'm going to compare it to Charlie Daniels in a minute because his one is lower. But looking at it statistically, really that Charlie Daniels should be. He's played longer, so he should have a better score. Um, successful passes of 298 successful passes a total of four tackles in the 10 games he played two no 14 tackles lost 26 interceptions going into the he's made no errors leading to goals and zero percent successful takeovers zero defensive errors and zero interceptions now you may be thinking for some of them Oh, they seem pretty good stats. Compare them to others. So our fourth place make him to, came to a bit of a surprise for some of you going into it. We're gonna have num again 29 points out of 55 in fourth place. We've got Charlie Daniel getting a minus 31.97 defensive score. He's I don't know how he accumulated that, but that's the defensive score, and I had to um, include that to make it fair. He's made 1,254 successful passes, not the highest, came second in that stat. He made he has won 51 tackles, that is the third highest in tackles won. Tackles lost, uh, 46, that is the third highest again. 51 interceptions, that is... I need to get my computer. I got there and it's just loads of stats. I asked for three points again first. In the errors leading to goals, he was one of one or two people who got this. Um, he has made one error leading to a goal. Uh, 69.62 percent successful takeovers, two defensive errors, and four interceptions for Charlie Daniels. None of his stats came out to be the best so that's why he is located fourth in third place is held by i'm gonna have to, have to get this up adam smith with 30 out of 55 a big candidate in it just need to know which section he is he is the second column so defensive score of 107.62 now you might be thinking that is quite high he came third so where's the other two? Who's the other two out of three? Even though it's only um, there's only Cook and Daniels left. So successful passes seven hundred forty nine. So that is that is the second worst fourth place. But nearly five, over five hundred less than Charlie Daniels. Still third though. Tackles one fifty nine. Not the highest. Tackles lost 53. Once again, not the highest. Interceptions 44. That is the second worst. Fourth he came in that section. 
errors leading to goal goals. He was joint first with zero errors leading to goals. Successful takeovers, 61.33%. Absolutely brilliant. Defensive errors, zero. Best in the group out of everyone. Interceptions, five. Absolutely incredible, but not the best. Now, in in the last two between Simon Francis and Steve Cook, a very tight one. They've both got 37 out of 55. But just having a look at this, um, all the stats and everything, there is only one winner. He's, and he's played more games and he's played more minutes. So in second place it is Steve Cook for Bournemouth. Absolutely brilliant. Steve Cook has had a great season. He got the best defensive score of 344.75. That might influence people. That means he did, he's done the best in defence. No. Go have a look at some other stats. Successful passes. 1,187. Come in second place. Tackles won. 17. The second lowest. The lowest is Tommy Elphick. But the second le less. Uh, lowest. Absolutely crazy. 36 tackles lost. 78 interceptions. 51 and 44. For Adam Smith and Charlie Daniels. But still, second place in that column. Zero errors leading to goals. I don't know. Oh no, one error leading to goals. I just looked in the wrong column there. Uh, one error leading to, to a goal. 75% success to take over. Is the highest of the group. Errors, Defensive errors, he has made two, unfortunately. And with the best interception stat of 32 interceptions for the Cherries. And our number one has to go to Simon Francis, who has been the skipper for the majority of Captain while Tommy Elphick has been injured with a 225.55 defensive score. 1,518 successful passes, the highest of the group. 72 tackles, once again, tackles won, the highest of the group. 71 tackles lost, um, huge margin, the worst of the group, getting one point. The, is that 80, 85 interceptions, the highest once again of the group. I've got the interceptions down to what? Wait. Well, no, these two are d different interceptions, these two, because they are completely different stats. So I will have a look into that. They are, I promise you, they're completely different. Um, zero defensive errors, 66.67 successful takeovers, two defensive errors. And 20 interceptions. Not the highest of the group there. But there is my top 5 defenders through statistics. Who do you guys think? Who would you rate the top 5 defenders of this season? Put down in the comments. I've been Matt from ASBTV. If you want to watch more AFC Ball content, subscribe down to the channel. More top 5s coming out very soon. Top 5 midf midfielders coming out in the next few days. I've been Matt from ASBTV. And I'm out.